Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create crime opener slideshow, like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp, I call this main comp. Now go to project window, here I have elements folder, drag old paper texture and old black and white paper image into the timeline. Change layer mode multiply. Select top layer and apply posterize expression on rotation. Select both layer and pre-compose them, I call this BG. Now drag ink footage into the timeline and change layer mode multiply. Now search tint effect and change black color with red color. Now drag blood splash footage into the timeline. Adjust footage left side of the comp. Also apply the posterize wiggle expression in rotation. Now drag trans in footage into the timeline and change layer mode multiply. Move the layer top side of the comp and resize little bit. Now search tint effect and change black color with red color. Now create new composition. This is our frame 1 comp. Width 800 and height 900 pixel. Now select a rectangle tool. Double click on rectangle to create a perfect rectangle. Now again create a rectangle with smaller size. Select bottom layer and change track matte alpha inverted matte. Perfect. Now again create a new composition I call this placeholder one. Drag frame one comp into the placeholder one timeline. Now drag your image into the timeline. Now go to elements folder, and drag paper bg image into the timeline, below the frame 1 layer and change track matte alpha matte. Now select text tool and type your text. Now create a new composition 1920 by 1080 pixel. This is our media 1 comp. Now drag placeholder 1 comp into the timeline, now open elements folder and drag transition footage into the timeline. Select placeholder layer and change track matte luma matte. Also enable the time remapping of layer. Now go to main comp and drag me do one comp into the timeline. And turn on collapse transformation icon. Resize the layer according to you. Also apply the posterize wiggle expression on rotation.
Now duplicate the layer. Then go to project window and also duplicate media 1 comp. Now hold alt key. And drag media 2 layer into the timeline. Open media 2 comp. We also need to replace our placeholder 1. So go to project window and duplicate placeholder 1. Then hold alt key. And drag placeholder 2 comp into the timeline. Open placeholder 2 and change your image. Adjust the layer into the comp. Perfect. Now go to the project window and duplicate frame 1 comp. Open frame 2 comp. We need to change the composition setting. So change width around 1200 pixel. Now select shape layer and adjust them. Now go to project window and duplicate the media 3 comp. And drag into the timeline, open media 3 comp. Here we need to replace placeholder 2, so go to project window and duplicate placeholder 2 comp. Now open placeholder 3 comp. Change composition setting width around 1200 pixel. Now replace your image. Resize according to composition. We also need to replace frame 1 with frame 2. Here you can see. Now go to media 3 comp. And replace placeholder 2 with placeholder 3. Now go to main comp and turn on collapse transformation icon. Resize layer according to you. And adjust them. Also apply posterize wiggle expression on rotation. Now duplicate blood splash layer, and move top of the all layers. You can adjust and rotate according to you. Now create a new composition. I call this main placeholder 1. Width around 1000 and height 1200 pixel. Drag your image into the timeline. Now go to main comp. And drag main placeholder 1 into the timeline. Resize according to you. Select the layer and search hue and saturation effect. Change master saturation minus 100, then search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Now search noise effect. Uncheck noise type, and change amount of noise 10%. Perfect. Now go to Elements folder and drag transition footage into the timeline. Select main placeholder layer. And change track matte luma matte. Also enable the time remapping of transition layer. Perfect. Now drag do not cross image into the timeline. Search motion tile effect. Increase output width around 300. Rotate the layer a little bit. Now we need to animate the position. So go to first frame and add a keyframe. Then move position left corner of the composition. Then go to one and half second forward and move the position. You can adjust the keyframes according to you. 
Now select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Now duplicate the layer and rotate them. Now go to first keyframe and move image right corner of the composition. Cool. Now apply the posterize expression on rotation. Copy the expression and apply in second layer also. Cool. Now go to project window and drag old film effect into the timeline. And change layer mode screen. Now apply curve effect and adjust your curves. Perfect. Now drag blood image into the timeline and adjust right corner of the composition. Also apply the posterize wiggle expression on rotation. Now drag torn paper image into the timeline. Rotate 180 degree and adjust bottom side of the composition. Now search CC page turn effect. Change control bottom left corner. Move fold position left corner of the composition. And add a keyframe. Then go to one second forward, and again move fold position right side of the composition. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. You can adjust the keyframes. Move both layers few frame forward. Now create a new composition. 1920 by 1080. This is our text one comp. Select text tool and type your text. Now open text layer and add opacity and character offset. Character offset 20 and opacity 0%. Open range selector and add a keyframe on start, then go to a few second forward and change start amount 100%. Now go to main comp and drag text 1 comp into the timeline and adjust bottom side of the comp. Turn on collapse transformation icon and you can also resize the layer according to you. Now create an adjustment layer. Go to around 2 second forward and trim the layer. Now search transform effect. Increase the scale and also rotate them a little bit. Now apply invert effect. Here you can see. Now go to 5 to 6 frame forward and trim the layer.
cool. Now drag jail bars image into the timer line and trim around adjustment layer. And move the layer below to adjustment layer. Now create new adjustment layer. Then search exposure effect. Go to around 3 to 4 second forward. And trim the layer. And add a keyframe on exposure. Then go to 4 to 5 frame forward. And increase the exposure amount. Then also trim the layer from back side. Now duplicate the layer, and move few frame forward. Our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.